All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining me again as uh, I go through the uh, 23 RAV4. Um, I'm going to need you all to squint a little bit, and, and like Corbin, unfortunately, I do not have a 23 RAV4 here. Um, today, this is going to be an XLE Premium, so squint really hard, um, and it's going to be loaded out. So, basically, head to head, we all know CRB kicks our butt this year. It is a, a great vehicle, best in class, all the way across the board. What I was going to talk to you about a little bit today was why we sell so many RAV4s. Um, 13 distinct grades, so we've got a lot of these and there's something for everybody's budget, lifestyle, whatever you're after. Um, this particular vehicle, the XLV Premium, um, comes with a lot of equipment, just standard. Uh, this is really where, you know, price meets value, if you will. Um, a lot of bang for your buck here at the XLV Premium, XLV as well. But the XLV Premium, you're going to add a few extra things. Um, the Premium is going to give you the leather and a few extras that go along with that. And I'll go into that a little bit more as we go through. Um, under the hood, uh, there's a lot to, to talk about here with this 2.5 liter uh, four-cylinder engine Toyota has. Uh, this is tried and true, been around for a long time, naturally aspirated. No turbos here, nothing extra that you have to worry about. And again, as I said, tried and true. Toyota does warranty this vehicle three or 36,000 uh, bumper to bumper and a five year 60 uh, powertrain. Of course, we get the lifetime powertrain going through the Buckeye organization. So um, you're gonna get all that uh, peace of mind with this. On top of that, Toyota is gonna give you two years of free maintenance. Uh, your oil changes, tire rotations are covered. We also do a multi-point inspection. Um, so that is included. Uh, so a little more of uh, that bang for buck, if you will. Um, under the hood though, you know, there is a lot of stuff here. Uh, Toyota does, you know, make everything uh, that you would really need to be paying attention to in a clear container. So when this thing's well beyond, uh, you know, its years or what have you, and you're doing your maintenance yourself or something like that, you can easily see where the, the brake fluid is, where your coolant's going to be. So you can maintain this. The battery's very easy to get to, remove. So those minor things that you would do maintenance-wise yourself are easily uh, taken care of here. Also under the hood, you know, can, can get under here and I'll talk about safety. Uh, crumple zones, breakaway engine mounts. This thing takes a head-on collision. It's gonna, it's gonna collapse like, a, like an accordion. It's gonna absorb all that, all that impact. Those engine mounts are gonna break away. It's gonna allow that engine to go underneath the vehicle, not through the cabin, and it's gonna keep you safe while you're in there. So um, coming around, um, you know, the front of this vehicle, Toyota has maintained the same styling. Um, so this hasn't gone away. This is a continuation of our fifth generation RAV4. And um, as I said, the design, interior, pretty much stayed the same. The big, big news in here is gonna be the, the addition of um, the new multimedia system that gives us Android Auto and Apple CarPlay wirelessly now, which is huge for Toyota. Um, that has been something that uh, you know, we've been waiting on for a while now. And on top of that, you know, just a, another you know, whole slew of, of optional equipment you can get on this thing. Everything from you know, digital rear view camera that gives you a view from behind the vehicle, um, you know, 10 and a half inch screen uh, for your multimedia system available here on the XLE Premium as well, which is the same standard equipment you get on the Limited. Um, so a lot of nice things there, including a, a seven inch multi-information display, which is huge for us this year. Um, you can do a lot of things inside of this car now. But as I come around, you're going to notice that this is a 19-inch uh, Super Chrome uh, uh, wheel. Uh, LEDs all the way around now on the 23, so tail lights, headlights, daytime running lights, fog lights, all LED, including interior. Everything in the interior now is LED as well, so brightens it up inside, makes it a lot easier to see moving around. So um, as we come around, breakaway uh, mirrors. In case you catch the side of the garage or, or anything in your way, hopefully they break away. Um, coming around to the back here, uh, Toyota is a very utilitarian vehicle, um, you know, as far as the, the design interior wise, but it's very practical. Um, a, lot of, a lot of ease as far as moving the seats around and, and making this, you know, configuration what you need. Um, in the back, behind the front row, you've got about 70 cubic feet of, of space. Um, and behind the second row here, almost 40, it's like 37.8. So you do have, you know, quite a bit. Uh, the seats do, as I said, come down. They are a 60-40 split. So depending upon what you need back here, you have the ability to try to move this thing around to, to meet that. Um, in the back, some people don't realize this, but if you're in a situation and you need a little extra space, 
These can actually remove, drop down below, gives you an extra two inches. So if you've got something large that you're loading in the back here, you can, you know, fit that generally in that area there. And this is all nice hard plastic. So this isn't gonna just absorb anything. So if you spill something back here, whatever, it's easy to take it out, hose it off and move on. So um, as far as the rest of it, uh, the lift gate back here is powered. It's part of an option um, on the XLE. I'd be standard on the XLE premium. It is height adjustable, so you can set this wherever you like. Um, I was in a, in a condo for a while. Uh, I had a low garage door. That was very convenient to be able to just adjust that so it didn't hit the top of the garage and, and made my life a lot easier. As I said, LEDs all the way around. Um, with the XLE Premium, um, the Advanced Tech Package, you do get the front and rear uh, parking sonar with automatic braking. So backing out of that spot, something's coming, you hear the beep beep. If you don't stop fast enough, this vehicle will do it for you. So it will, it will catch you in those mistakes and then keep you safe uh, while you're trying to get out of the parking spots. Um, come around here to the front of the vehicle. Inside, as I said, um, a lot of new technology, uh, a lot of safety. Um, Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 is, um, is, our, is our latest and greatest as far as the safety senses go. It's gonna give you things like lane departure alert, lane trace assist, um, automatic high beams, radar cruise control. So a lot of, a lot of things there you know, that, that just keep you out of trouble before you get into it. Um, a lot of active safety. So that's standard across the board. And when you talk about active safety, Toyota's been doing things like that for a long time. Um, our star safety system is kind of the backbone of, of Toyota, if you will. Um, you know, things like the traction control, analog brakes, um, brake force distribution, brake assist, all designed to keep you in control and maneuver through, you know, bad situations when you're driving. So you stay in control, you don't slip and slide out, and, and you stay safe. And, and that's kind of what Toyota safety is, is built off of, is that star safety system. And that has led into even more active safety with the, uh, the addition of the Toyota safety sense. As far as passive safety, you've got eight airbags around this vehicle, including a driver's knee and a, and a passenger uh, seat cushion airbag. So if you do get into a situation where, you know, airbags do deploy, they're everywhere, including side curtain all throughout. So all of your onboard passengers are going to be safe in those types of situations. Um, beyond that, uh, you know, there's, there's really, you know, as I said, a lot of, of Toyotas now in the RAV4 lineup. Uh, 13 distinct grades, seven of those are hybrid. You've got the LE, XLE, XLE Premium, Limited, all available as hybrid and gas. So there's eight. TRD Off-Road, Adventure, in the gas lineup. Then you've got SE, XSE, and the all-new Woodland Edition, which is gonna add the bronze wheels, and the Falcon Off-Road tires, and things like that. Um, it's gonna be a very good-looking, distinct vehicle, but 13 distinct grades, and starting anywhere from 27,000 up to 39. So, I mean, they're all over the board, but that is a big piece of the puzzle as far as fitting somebody into one of these RAVs when they come into the showroom. The other addition that competes probably a little bit more with the CRV is the Venza. Same chassis, same TGNA platform that the RAV4 sits on, same design as far as, as, far as the, the powertrain. The addition would be obviously that it's hybrid, so it's gonna give you 219 horsepower versus 203 that you'll get here on the, uh, on the uh, gas version. But the Venza, as far as upscale, Nicer equipment, just more of that Lexus feel. It's a great transition from the lab. So that's all I got, guys.